Hello again everyone, Russ Douglas 222 here and uh, another kit review. I was very kindly contacted by the folk at Ode Pro. They offered me a torch to review. I had a quick look at the f facts and figures and uh, the kit and thought, yes please. So this is an entirely independent, honest review. Yes, they've supplied me with a torch, but I checked with them that I was allowed to be 100% honest, 100% independent, report all my pros and cons, everything I found. So uh, that's what's coming up. Uh, and I'm standing up because I keep getting a sore back when I sit in my little home studio desk here in the spare room. So this is the KL41 Plus, and there are some limitations to it, and there are some limitations I expected to find and was pleasantly surprised. So you'll see footage in this video from down at Stonehaven Harbour and inside uh, on one of my permissions and footage from the paddocks picking up eye shine on uh, rabbits. So this is white, red, green and IR850, which is the more visible and more efficient with night vision kit of uh, the two night vision wavelengths. I'll sit down and I'll talk you through the kit. Okay, so we have a durable, lockable plastic case. It describes long range LED flashlight, mentions tail switch, mounting to scope or fire, firearm, high quality rechargeable lithium ion protected batteries with two channel charger, aerospace grade aluminium body. Basically, we're talking aluminium alloy, which is light, almost as light as aluminium, but is stronger, more durable and IPX8 standard weatherproof design. And on the other side, some run times, LED white, 1.1 hours, range 420 yards, red 2.5 hours, 240 yards, green 2.5 hours, 300 yards, and IR850 two hours, with no range listed, but I was pleasantly surprised by the range. A list of what's included, starts at the top, we have a remote pressure switch known as a rat tail and there are two buttons inside. We've got a flexi reach and a threaded tail cap and sticky backed velcro patch to attach this to your rifle for your leading hand on the fore end of the rifle. More on the pressure switch and the buttons in a second. It's supplied with two batteries. They are 3.7 volt, 3000 milliamp hour Ode Pro branded batteries. Um, one's here, one's already in the torch. These weighed 47 grams. So uh, Gary of Wolverine Vermin Shooting, you'll be uh, happy to know that these are uh, good quality batteries. Basically, you want 18650 batteries, whether pinhead protected or flat top unprotected, to be between 45 and 50 grams, as Gary reported on one of his videos. It's only a very rough rule of thumb for quality, but if they're much less than 45 grams, they're not likely to be very good quality. So these are good. We have three pills, and if I just explain, bulbs in the night vision world are known as pills. So we have white which looks kind of yellowy we have green that looks white ir850 which is currently got the red pill in it and the pills are labeled on the side green white except there's no label on the red pill because looking through the little glass jar you can see the red led diode the IR850 pill is currently in the torch itself. So we have a rudimentary figure eight clamp. I say rudimentary because a lightweight plastic clamp, one of these can clamp any torch to any scope tube or indeed the barrel of any rifle directly. As long as the diameter of the barrel is greater than about uh, 24 and a half mil. So th this is fast to fix to your scope and your torch or your barrel. But the only downside is if you, want to, if you want to adjust the direction of your beam to coincide with your scope's point of aim and your rifle's point of impact. Quite useful, but slightly limited. We have a two-way mains charger. It lights up red for charging, green for fully charged. So we have warranty leaflet, two spare O-rings, 
and the user manual. I'll put a link down below to my Flickr album that accompanies this Triple Torch review. And I've, I've included full-size photos of both sides of the manual of this torch and the other torches I've been reviewing. So all the information's in here. There's also what looks like a mini torch, but it's, it's quite, quite, quite detailed as well with a, a colored red button and its own, its own lanyard. But basically this is just a plastic tube for transporting a spare battery. Despite having a fake lens and even got a fake LED inside it, this is just for transporting a battery. We have a mount and an Allen key. And regarding the option of attaching the torch to a scope or a firearm, I would suggest this clamp is good for attaching it a torch and scope tube or torch and uh, a large gun barrel. This bracket I would suggest is only for attaching to a uh, rifle barrel, for example, the barrel of a, um, a brake barrel air rifle. So we have adjustable V-clamp with four Allen screws and a single slot Picatinny rail on the back. And then the second part of the mount, I've already got attached to the KL41 Plus, and this is a standard four Allen screw Scope clamp uses a single finger adjustable screw to tighten it, single bolts, so it's basically a recoil arrestor rail included. With the two of these together, you could attach the torch to a rifle barrel. Right, so onto the torch itself. As you can see, I've got the infrared IR850, which is the 850 nanometer wavelength pill in here at the moment. And this is, this wavelength is by far the most eff efficient with most night vision devices. For example, the PARD infrared scope that I use. From the outside, it looks and feels well built. We have some veins here, which aid with grip and also will dissipate some heat should this be used on full power for a long period. And we have a lanyard at the back and a pressure switch, a full press, for on and off and uh, half presses for changing power. Now changing the power is only available when you're using the white pill. That's one downside of the infrared, green and red pills is you've got one power level and this is not an adjustable torch. So this is the KL41 Plus. If you're after an adjustable beam for widening it out to flood or narrowing it down for longer range, the Ode Pro KL52 Plus is the torch you need. When reviewing this out outdoors, I was expecting this beam to be either too wide and diffuse to be very bright down range, or if it was concentrated enough, I was kind of expecting it to be uh, slightly offline from uh, my scope, but I was pleasantly surprised by that. You'll have to watch the footage at the harbour to uh, see what I mean. So we have the KL41 Plus here with the red pill fitted as there's no designation on the outside of the pill. And here you can see I've got the uh, Picatinny clamp on. So construction wise, well made and it's, it's a modular design. So first things first, to change the pill, unscrew the rear tail cap. That takes the pressure off the battery, which is important because you have to do that before you remove the pill and head assembly. And then you can see there's another spring here. Uh, and then you can separate these two. So there's your head assembly, your the red pill, as you can see, your central torch body with the knurling and a 186650 battery. And then you have the tail cap switch, or you would have the remote rat tail tail cap. If I'm gonna fit the white pill, Oops. 
remove that from the cap. I'll pop the pill back into the little plastic flask face down so you can easily see which one it is. The pill goes back on the head and you can see each, each section that unscrews is protected by an o-ring. If you want to maintain the threads I would clean them with a uh, lint-free cloth and perhaps if you want to help seal it you could use a, a tiny dab of Vaseline on the threads and on the o-ring. I wouldn't use silicon oil just on any of the threads just in case. Well you can see that the exposed metal threads here are possibly conductors and if you use silicon oil or silicon grease that can be an insulator and it might interfere with the connection. So a little tiny dab of Vaseline if you see fit. Nip that up tightly, then add the main body, again protected by an o-ring. Nip it up tightly and then lastly you've got the tail cap onto the 18650 battery. Okay, with the white pill, because it has three power levels, low, medium, high, and a strobe, and an SOS signal, this would actually make, uh, on its own, without any sort of uh, rifle mount, this would, would make quite a good torch for emergency use. The only thing you're missing, of course, is for IR use, you don't have a, a rear power indicator, and you've not got a dial for stepless control of the power. It weighs 317 grams, 11.2 ounces. I'm outside in one of my permission barns. The Shadow Master head torch is on lowest B red beam, just to help me find my way around. Here I have the Ode Pro KL41 Plus. I just wanted to check how it looks in the confines of the barn. So that is 30 meters and this is the torch on minimum. And that's, that's not gonna scare too many rats away. It's a shame the white beams variable intensity control isn't available with the red pills and the green pills. Um, So, off, half press, on, that's medium beam. Now that is going to scare things away, I think. Off, half press, on, that's full beam. It's nice and bright. Off, half press, that's the strobe. Half press, and that's the Morse code. Great for hill walkers and sailors. Not a lot of use for shooters. Half press, and it's back on low. I always like to leave my torches on low when uh, last using them. Okay, so that's the white. I'm just going to change the, the pill over to green and see how it looks. I've put the green pill on, but this only has one power level. And that is pretty bright. So nice collimated beam. There's not too much light spill around the... Uh, outside of the corona, that might well scare prey away if you were lamping. I'm not sure if it would be too bright or not. <laughs> Ideally you need prey that uh, can't see green. That's pretty bright. Okay, part double -A LRF, recording a little bit at 70 meters. This is with the Ode Pro KL41 Plus torch on lowest power. So that Pretty clear with the part at 70 meters. Right, switch it on. That's higher power. Very clear at 70 meters. That's impressive actually. So low power. Another press on medium power. Pretty good. Switch it off. Another press, and we're on higher power, that's pretty good, and let's show you that at 113 metres, and then at 170 metres. 
cliff top distance, 190 meters. Let's get the pad focusing on the litter bin roughly. Ah, now that is a very nicely focused beam. That's 70 meters, just to prove it to you. Let's show you somewhere else. Cliff edge here. 180 meters. Alright, let's see if I can get that focused on something you can identify. There we go. Cliff edge. 270 metres away. That's 400 metres, quarter of a mile. And this red light would easily pick up ice shine at that distance. Very impressive torch, that. Very uh, well collimated beam. Nice if there was a, a cat roaming that hillside looking for dinner, so I could get some eye shine off it, but never mind. So, 70 meter litter bin, and closer up. See, that's, that's brilliant, that's not, the red light is not blinding, the pad is adjusting for it. You can see what I'm pointing out on the shore very clearly, with the naked eye. Just focus it slightly. That light is not blinding at 40 meters or 70, so that is very impressive. There we go. Green pill. That is like a laser beam. That is a very well collimated beam. That. So again, 70 meters. The green looks well. It's, it's filling up the whole of the, uh, the view from the pad uh, with light. It's a very nicely collimated beam. A look closer. The pad is adjusting automatically so it's not blinding. With the naked eye it's not blinding so it's not too bright. Looking onto the cliffs. 190 meters. Bushes on the cliff top. 300 meters. I dare say I would still get ice shine here, but it doesn't seem as clear with the green as it did with the red. Maybe, maybe my eyes are more used to seeing, more accustomed to seeing red light. But it does look dimmer with the green. Pick up detail there. So that's 250 meters. So the green is good for 250 meters easily. Okay, that's me recording again on the Par Double LRF. I'm using IR on level 1, night vision mode, just to align the pad with the litter bin at 70 meters. So I'll put the IR off. I can now going to use the OPRO KL41's 850 diameters IR. And that is crystal clear at 70 meters, slightly whiting out the litter, word litter. Oh, not zoom, different wrong button. Alright, let's have been at 70 meters. Cliffs at 190 meters. Very clear. So yeah, focus. And yeah, so say the IR is more powerful at 400 meters, quarter of a mile, than both the red and the green. I'll focus as good as I can. There would definitely be eye shine at that range. <laughs> yep, the pad is adjusting nicely, nice and crisp there. Yep, that's excellent. Uh, I'm not going to use the white pill, although the white pill is uh, the only one that has dimmable uh, power levels, 
Uh, it also has a white strobe and an SOS Morse code strobe. So I'm not going to use that because that really will freak out the bunnies and scatter them all. So for the moment I've put the green pill in it and hopefully I'm going to show you how this looks. Right, so can I focus this? Right, so there are bunnies at 80 meters. Quite grainy with the green pill. I'm slightly crouching because my camera tripod isn't tall enough. Uh, so we have two bunnies there at 80 meters. The green is on under one power level. They're a bit sort of aware of me. They're looking at alarmed. So the green is not maybe not the best covert one, but it's also not that powerful. Not the clearest view of rabbits. I'm afraid I'm a bit shaky here because the wind is up. Uh, I'm standing out in the open. But yeah, so that's the green pill. 80 meters picking a by shine. Not a lot to see up there. Right. So where are the rabbits? There they are. There's several, several more there now. So if you're using the, along filming this through the pod, it's on daylight mode, and if you're using the KL41 Plus with red pill, the lamping, and this 90 meters and it's using fine. They are getting a bit aware of me, so I'm going to switch off and put the IR pill on. Okay. Okay, so the rabbits are all still there. 8 meters plus. Just to focus slightly closer. You can see the frozen ground, okay. And slightly further away the rabbits. So the eye shine on multiple rabbits. So there's the distance about 140 meters. So apologies for the shakiness, but I'm crouching slightly. I guess behind the camera tripod. Can we get the focus right? I'm reaching past the KL41 Plus's front lens. Can I keep my fingers out of the front where the lens is? To focus the pad's objective lens. Quite a few rabbits out tonight. Over there. So, yep. Yeah, the IR850 pill. Works nicely on the KL41 Plus. The only criticisms are the lack of um, dimmable power control on all but the white pill, and on all of the pills, it's the lack of a focusable beam. Although, as you can see here, the beam is tight enough that. Uh, there's enough, any, there's enough light going down, down range to eliminate the rabbits. So I'm not, I'm not remotely fussed about the, uh, about the lack of a focusable beam. But anyway, I've been able to film some some rabbits. So I hope this was interesting to you. Let's go with two, two sign off from a rather frozen set of products. So it's a good sized torch well made o-rings protecting all three joints two spare o-rings in the kit downsides only one of the four pills has adjustable power on that point the other pills red green and ir850 are far more likely to be used if you're stalking animals doing pest control or hunting i did find as well i'll pop a photo up around about here I did find that this single Picatinny clamp is it's a little bit low profile using my PAR double LRF when I had this attached to the low profile Picatinny rail on the left side of the pad. There's not a lot of room between the lens of the, the torch and the objective lens of the pad to get your hands past and adjust the focus on the pad. 
and obviously you you have you do have to adjust focus anytime you go from from daytime to night vision if mounting this torch on a pad i might use a half inch or a one inch razor block just to increase the standoff from the body so cracking piece of kit although it probably shouldn't belong on the torch body as a whole because you could have white pills in use for example like there there's no yellow warning sticker warning of ir light in use on the side body of the ir850 pill so slight omission there because we all know we shouldn't look towards an, a source of ir light so ode pro kl41 plus and there's a link in the description below to my amazon recommendations page and uh, i'd really appreciate if any of you do want anything from amazon and you, you buy it from the linked through my page then uh, i get a small commission and it helps support the channel so thank you very much indeed